into this pandemic and it's easy to feel a little lost in the darkness. As a world, it seems like we're in an underground tunnel looking at a light in the distance, praying it's not an oncoming train, but a way out. We will get out, thanks to our brilliant scientists who work hard every single day to give us hope. But when we do get out, how do we keep this light glowing? Well, you know what? That's up to you, it's up to me. Because I think there's a little bulb above everyone's heads. Just there, levitating, plugged in by our parents at birth, protected by their unconditional love, not switched on from the outset. The bulb is filled with positive energy of experience, building up that power until its day of luminescence. Here's my bulb, my dad, my mum, my brother falling out with me, then sticking up for me, the family shell suits and dodgy beards, my teammates' filthy kits and frozen peas on my knobbly knees. The screeching violin in the orchestra, that secondary school photograph that nobody smiled for, lifelong friends of a youth theatre, lifelong friends of a community theatre, and that goal. So the bulb is full to bursting. But what connects the dots? How do we make sense of the hodgepodge? How do we put all the pieces together? Well, it turns out what we need is a light giver. Someone who in an instance turns our indifference into tenderness, our hesitance into resilience, our darkness to light, our off to on. I was 15 when mine gave light to me, gifted by a teacher and opened by a child friend. My first light giver, a brilliant teacher, a brilliant man, David Eden, had gone ahead with his frankly insane idea of directing two full-length musicals concurrently. To his credit, it worked. We had finished our technical run of Oliver on the stage with the band, and it was our turn for a break, to sit in the auditorium and watch Annie, the other musical. So I sat with my cheese sandwiches and my hula hoops and the music started playing, the tabs went up and a young girl, Danielle, only 12 years of age, sang the first refrain to Maybe. And suddenly, everything on the outskirts of the room went dark. Like a vignette, soft round the edges. The sole focus of my attention, of everybody's attention, was that voice. A voice that seemed to transcend what I knew to be normal. A visceral voice. A voice that turned my energetic, levitating bulb on. And that was all it took. A sound, a moment, a teacher's courage and a child's voice. And since that light was turned on, it has never gone out. When we finally get out of this, Endeavour to be the light giver. Be the person who fills people with positive energy and propitious experience. And maybe, just maybe you could be the one who turns on a light. That's the greatest gift. Your brilliance can build their castles. Your simple act today can unlock their tomorrow. You see, it turns out People need people.